today i'm going to show you how to show a friends a topo map so i already have my topo map and um this is it here you can see 202 southwest and so first of all what you need to do is to create um a folder where you're going to keep your work so i'm just going to create a folder now and i'm going to drag it there we'll name the folder map I'm going to drag this here. So whatever I'm going to be doing will be saved in this folder. So I'll be able to have easy access to it. Okay, now I'm going to my ArcGIS and um, I'm going to look for where my folder is. So I can just connect to my folder since I know it's in um document. Just look for the map okay and this is um my map you're getting this because the map has not been georeferenced so i'm going to click on okay this is my map and if i should zoom in you see the coordinate so these are what we're going to use to georeference a map for you to start your referencing you're going to need to convert this um degrees and minutes to decimal degrees so now for the georeferencing if you are not seeing this georeferencing here you just have to come to your um you just have to come up here and um, right click then you see just make the georeferencing to to be active i'm going to do now georeferencing okay then you have it there after that you see that your image will be added automatically yeah so all we need to do now is to georeference our image uh, we need to convert this to decimal degrees is in degree minute and seconds so we need to convert it to decimal degrees so this is um four degree 30 minutes and this is eight degree 45 minutes for you to be sure this is 8 degree 45 minutes, you can just move to the other side. So, just move to the other side here and uh, you're going to see. So, I think this is okay. And so, if you're not seeing a um, number, all you just need to go, go to the other end and you see the number there so back to our georeferencing so this will be our first point so, um, since your image has been um, selected here yeah, automatically all you need to do is zoom in there you add a control point you can see here so we're going to add a control point click on this and come to this middle here so you drop it and uh, right click input x and y your x will be remember i said we're going to convert this to decimal degrees so this will be four point whatever you have in your minutes you're going to divide by 60 so 30 divided by 60 that is 0 0.5 then 4 plus 0 0.5 that is 4.5 point seven five. that will be 8.75 point seven five. then you click on ok so don't worry about this your image is still there all you just have to do is come here to view this um, full extent so i'm going to zoom in again to the second point to pick my control point so i'm going to this is 4 degree for 5 minutes and 8 degree for 5 minutes i'm going to add control point and um okay input x and y so this will be 4.75 second will be 8.75 so i'm going to press ok and come here again so i'm going to zoom in now to get my third point you need to zoom in very well for you to even if you are not 100 percent accurate at least let you get a better result so just click on this add control point and um, right click so this will be 4.5 then 8.5 okay 
I'm going to zoom in, zoom to my extent and for my fourth point now. My fourth point now. I'm going to add the control point again and um yeah. So input. So it will now be four point seven five. And this will be eight point five. I'm going to press OK. So now I'm done. I have all my four points selected, and so I'm going to go to this georeferencing. So you're going to rectify. You're going to rectify. So this page we open, and um, all you, all, you, all you need to do is yeah, select the folder. So you're going to look for. Remember that I created a folder before, which I named map. So just select the folder and this is where you're going to rename your um, map the georeferenced one. You can just leave it as the default one and press save. So once saved, the map will be um, automatically georeferenced. Now it has been georeferenced. All you just have to do is so um i'm going to view my link table now so i have 0 0.6 blah 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 so i think that is okay so all we're going to do now is going to add my georeferenced image so which means i'm going to I'm going to remove this but before i do that let me just save my rms error i'm going to save this in the in this same folder that i created earlier so map I'm going to name this RMS hello it can save I think I've saved it now so I'm going to remove this now so I don't need this anymore so I'm going to add my jewelry referenced now that uh, we've jewelry referenced our image I'm going to go on to proceed with creating up shape files so from here I'll, what i'm going to do is i'm going to create shape file for good from this map i can see some roads so this is an example of a road here so using this um legend this is a um, main road secondary road minor road main parts minor part so you can see i see some main main road here this is the main road why this one here is um i think minor road yeah minor road this is the symbol i'm going to create a shape file for the for the road so i'm going to create just a single shape file so first of all you go to remember that the the um folder that we created so i'm going to right click on the folder then i'm going to create my shape file so shape file so the shape file that i'm creating now name it wood then it's not a point it's, it's a line so i'm going to do polyline so I'll go with projected coordinate system. UTM. UTM. I'm going to select Northern Hemisphere. Not. I'm going to select WHS 1984. Northern Hemisphere. And UTM zone 31. Zone 31. Let me just make this. Right, so, okay. so I'm going to click on um okay. You can see the wood has been added to our table of content here. So what I'm going to do now is to go to my create feature. I'm going to click on editor. If you are not seeing this editor, just come to your right click and you make it to be active. I'm going to go to my editor, start edit. So I would advise that you take it one after the other. First of all, you just um, continue. 
First of all, you do shape file for road when you've selected or picked all the road, then you can go on with other um, points or whatever you want to pick. So for this road now, I'm going to have um, I'm going to write something out. So since I can only find um two road here, so clean the major road. I'm clean. Uh, I'm clean main road and um, minor road. So I'm clean main road. Clean main road, minor road, and I'm clean some parts. Okay, I'm clean secondary road too. So I'm clean main road, minor road, and secondary road. So and I already created my shape file for good. So I'm going to start with my main road. So I'm going to start editor. I already start editor. So in case you miss it, so just come here, start edit. Yeah, about this, continue. And um, go to your with Fisher Wood. So then you select Wood, then you select line. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to pick, 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 pick. We're going to I'm going to pick so I'm done picking this one. I don't I don't have a mouse, so I'm going to pick again this so for don't forget, I'm picking my main road for now. I advise that you zoom in very well so be able to, you know. So you double click. So this way um showing on your attribute table I'm going to zoom to the air force you should uh, pick these two roads and um so I'm going to zoom in again to see so to see if I still have any um any main road This is the main road. This is the secondary road. You can see the lines in between. This is the secondary road. So, if I should go to, the, I've picked my main road now. So, if I should go to my attribute table, I only pick two road, two roads, which are this and this. So, what you need to do is, you need to save your edits. Let's stop edit. So you're going to add two field now. You're going to add name. You're going to add name. Now first of all, let me add class. Class. So when the class will be um you're going to add class, class will be number, and you're going to add name. Still field and um, name. Name will be um, text. So, okay. so this class now will represent that. Okay, all my one here. Just started it. So I'm going to say that. Okay, my um, one will be for main road. So all the one I have here will be my main road. So I'm going to name this now. Just going to you know, we select it and then um, you know, it's going to right click field calculator so name so going to put name word 
then okay so you see the main road there now you can easily type it but if you are doing you can easily type this but if you are having more than maybe 50 or 100 you know it won't be easy typing main road main road main road so you just use the field calculator so now that i have my one as my main road i can close this zoom in to pick my uh, other roads that i have here so this is a minor road so i'm going to pick this minor road it is still in the same um, shape file so i'm just going to click on line so i'm going to start start You have to search thoroughly to see if you have uh, um, any other road there. So I'm going. I'm trying to see if I still have any other uh, minor road. Okay, this is one again. I'm going to going to start this. Go to my great feature road line. Um, I'm going to start this from here. Now I'm going to um my two will be my main road. So my two will be my minor road. So my two will be my minor road. So now for my three. So now I have my main road and my minor road. My main road is one, minor road is two. So now I'm going to pick my secondary road, which I'm going to um, maybe use three. So now I'm going to pick my secondary road. So I'm going to start from there and select my line. I'm going to pick my secondary road. done with this so i'm going to name this um three and um secondary road so you could just create a single shape file for each of each and every one of them so you, you don't need to create a shape file for a road for uh another shape file you don't need to create a shape file for main road then create another shape file for minor road no so just create a single shape file for your road and if, even if you have um river or you can just use the line but it will be too complex so you can just create an, another um shape file for river but for this road just a single shape file then it's from these categories that you now um symbolize them so let's say i want to symbolize this theory um stuff that i have now I'm just going to go to my symbology categories so remember that i created two fields which are class and name i'm going to use the class i can use the name as well but remember i have three classes my no let me use the name i'm going to use the name so it will be easier to get so i'm going to no one is one two and three my one is main road two is minor road and three is secondary road so i'm just going to you know maybe one main road use the symbology to you know um signify them two okay let me use this as a minor road and three let's say we have um secondary road okay this is cool i'm just going to apply this and um okay so you can see you can see this is how it looks like at the end of the day so you really don't need to create different shape files for each of the roads a single shape file from 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 the attribute table you categorize them and do the symbology later on so you do this also for every other um, point that you have be it the um the settlement 
maybe vegetation that you have these are different types of vegetation these are um, settlements in polygon and we have some settlement points maybe schools um church mosque we also have control lines so you just create shape file for the control you just create a single shape file for the vegetation a single shape file use the categories in the output table to categorize them then you can then symbolize them later <laughs>